My name is Faye, and welcome to the unofficial Makeria Carvera community channel. This YouTube channel will post updates to the machine firmware, controller, and post processors we have been developing and occasionally post tutorials. If you want to follow our progress, we have a GitHub, GitBooks, and Trello for feature and issue tracking, and you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. Links are in the video description. This video will show you how to calibrate your three-axis probe for centering and how to find the probe tip diameter. Following these steps will ensure your probe is as accurate as it can be. For instructions on wiring the probe to your machine and more info on the probing commands available, see the links in the description. Be sure you are on firmware and controller version 2.0.0c or above. Before we start, I want to mention that I was actively working on the UI for the probe calibration screens while making this video, so you might see subtle differences. The largest difference is that I added info from the MDI into the probe start dialog so you can follow along with the progress and see instructions at the end of the process. To begin, you may need a few tools depending on which calibration processes you follow. To calibrate the center, you will need the small hex key that came with the probe to adjust the set screws, and either a dial test indicator with a minimum 1,000th or 0.02 millimeter reading, or you can use a solid surface mounted to the bed. If you use the dial indicator method, you will also need something sturdy to hold the indicator. I use my machine vise. For calibrating the probe tip diameter, you will need a block of known size, like a 123 block or gauge block, a ring gauge of known size, like shown, or an accurate measurement of your anchor two width using a micrometer or caliper. The more accurate you are with these tools, the more accurate you can make the probe. As always, anytime that you are using the three axis probe, you want to set the tool to 3D probe, which can be done with the set tool dropdown. Our first method of centering the probe tip is to use a dial test indicator. With the indicator mounted firmly into a movable object and the probe installed but unplugged, Touch the end of the indicator sphere to the end of the probe sphere and preload it slightly so that when you turn the probe, the reading changes. Then rotate the probe around until you find the highest spot and use the hex wrench to loosen the set screw opposite the high spot and tighten the set screw in line with the high spot. Continue finding the high spot and adjusting until you are happy with the amount of movement on your dial test indicator when rotating the probe. Be aware that you can introduce error to this process if you apply too much pressure to the probe in the spindle, bending it out of the way, so make sure to use a light touch when taking measurements. The second method of centering the probe uses the probe's built-in sensors to find the high spots. To do this, use the probing screen to perform a single-axis probe toward a solidly mounted surface, flip the probe 180 degrees, and probe again. Then check the MDI console, for info on the probe values to determine which side is higher, use the hex key to adjust and repeat at 90 and 270 degrees. Continue switching back and forth between rotations until you are happy with the results. Once you have centered the probe tip, we can move on to finding the effective probe tip diameter. Because the probe does not trigger immediately when touching a surface, this will be slightly different than if you were to just measure the probe tip diameter. For instance, on my machine, the probe tip measures just over 2 millimeters, but the effective probe tip diameter is 1.8 millimeters. The first method of calibrating the probe tip diameter will be with a bore of known dimensions, like my ring gauge. Ball bearing bores are also very good for this process, as they are usually very accurate and circular. Start with the probe located in the center of the bore at the height you wish to probe. You can use the probe bore command in the probing dialog to find the center. With the probe in its starting position, open the probing dialog and go to the probe tip section. Enter the known diameter of the bore in the X field. You may also want to set the L parameter to two or three to average the measurement over several rounds. Then click the calibrate probe tip by bore button and wait for the function to finish. After it finishes, you will need to go to the MDI, find the line showing you the measured probe tip diameter, and copy it into the MDI. In my case, the command is config-set space sd space zprobe dot probe underscore tip underscore diameter space 1.815. Hit the send button and then restart your machine to load the config setting. Finding the probe tip diameter with a block of known dimensions is very similar. Start with the probe centered and above the block. Open the probing dialog and set the X or Y value to the dimension of the block you are measuring. You can only use one for calibrating the probe tip diameter. J will determine how far off the edge of the block to move before probing down and probing back toward the block. 
E will determine how far down from the starting position to probe, and L will once again average multiple probing cycles. Only the X or Y parameter is required. There are default values for the rest of them. Fill out the values and click the relevant Calibrate by Boss button. Wait for the probing cycle to finish, and once again, use the MDI to set the value and reset the machine. The last method for calibrating the probe tip diameter is to use Anchor 2. Start by accurately measuring the width of Anchor 2 and input that value into the machine advanced settings. Then restart, install Anchor 2, and set your tool to 3D Probe. Then run the Calibrate by Anchor 2 button. It will automatically move to the correct position and perform the probing procedures. Once the probing has finished, once again check the MDI for the output value, send the config command, and reset the machine. When probing, it is always best to probe with the USB port facing a particular direction for the most accurate results as the geometry of the probe can change slightly at different rotations. I always probe with my USB port facing front on my machine. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.